guys, this is Bad Gamer Cat, and I am super excited to come to you with Kingdom Come Deliverance. This is a game that I really wanted to play when it first came out, but my computer wasn't capable of doing it. And now that I have my new gaming laptop, I'm so excited. And Steam was having a 40% off sale, so bonus. Charles IV, King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles's son, Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. <laughs> he even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, uh -oh. which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties melted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's armies. It is here that my story begins. I'm so excited! Wasn't that an awesome intro? And the graphics are so pretty. Oh, look at this. All right. We're going to start a new game. Normal mode. I am not a hardcore more mode person. Hopefully I won't die too many times in normal mode, but I cannot promise you that. The early 15th century was a time of turmoil in the home Holy Roman Empire, which it flourished under the late Emperor Charles the IV, but now with the sun... Okay, whatever. You guys can pause this and read it, okay? This is really beautiful. This is a really beautiful game. Look at the horses! Look at the shiny armor! I've been wanting to play this since it first came out, but my computer couldn't handle it. I'm so glad I have my gaming laptop now. Look at the market! I love this. This is incredible. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? 
I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? A blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. A quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. This is just really nice. Henry, get up now. There's work to be done. Five more minutes. Mm. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slug of bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself, is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. Unexpected I visit you this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Um, I want strength, so I'm going to go to. I was working in the forge. I was sweating in the forge all day yesterday, and then I was helping Fritz and Matthew with some errands. So I'd say I have a right to be a bit tired. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. So we gained a new level in strength. With that scratch on your hand, and that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. And does vitality mean your health? I'm going to go for I was vitality. With do you want a blow-by-blow -blow account of everything we did? What's this, an interrogation? All right, all right. Sorry, son. It's just that I worry about you. Thanks, Ma, but I'm not four years old. I know, Hal. You've grown up in front of my eyes. It's hard to get used to it. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Um, my friends aren't drunks. Matthew and Fritz aren't drunkards. I never said they were, did I? And if I really minded you going for a beer with them, I'd have put a stop to it long ago. I was young once too, you know. And your father was no angel when he was in Kuttenberg. Of course he wasn't. <laughs> you don't believe me? Ask him yourself. All right, I will. So if you're not a boy anymore, Henry. You're a man, and it's time to start acting like one. Yesterday you promised your father you'd help at the forge. If you made yourself useful now and then, I wouldn't mind your mischief making so much. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. father angry with me for sleeping late. He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Sir Radzik. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. But he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. All right, there's only one more. Do you need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Guys, I've got my window open, and, and for some reason, there's all kinds of traffic on my street today. 
And I don't know why, but it's too hot in here with the window closed. If I close the window, I have to turn on the fan, and that makes just as much noise, so I apologize for the background noise. You can move around using WASD, sprint with Q, jump with space, walk with capital, with cap lock, interact with E, new codex entry N, N. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, let's go to player. So my health is at 100. Everything's at 100. Now, vitality, what is that for? I don't know, but it's at 2. So I better go eat. Um, she said she left something on the table. Okay, let's grab an apple. I'm just going to pick up all the apples. Oh, bread roll. How do I get this other bread roll? Okay, I got to stand up here. Okay, lentil soup. This must be what she left for us. All right, let's just take everything because the NPCs don't eat, as far as I know. Oh, cheese. And look how cool this is. They cooked over an open fire. I can eat from the pot. Okay. Now, is our hunger better? So that must be enough. All right, cool. And let's take a look around in here. We've got this little room with some things hanging on the walls, but not, not clickable. And here's a little room back here. Oh, cabbage. Okay, yeah, let's take the cabbage. Let's take the bread. Let's take the cheese. Let's take all. Now, I don't know if we need all of this, but lockpick easy. We don't have any lockpicks. take all. So, I don't know if the food goes bad or not in this game. If it does, I guess we could sell some of it. Oh, wow. Look, at there's all kinds of things in here. Okay, it looks like I think I, I think we took everything in here, did we? No, we didn't. Um, okay, I think that's it now. Is it ever? There's one. There's one thing back here. Did I did I take that yet? Yeah, I did. Okay. All right. I just didn't want to miss anything. Now, where did our mother go? Is she still in here? Mom.
nails, bandage, marigold, deco okay, we'll take that later. Um, oh, here's our mother. Can we say anything new? No, there's nothing new. All right. God be with you. So we have an axe. Um, there's some bags hanging up here. What's back here? Look at the pretty blue flowers. Can I pick anything? No. Oh, look, is this a little chicken house? A little hen house? Cute. A little woodshed. Clothes hanging on the line. It's a wooden wheelbarrow. Look how cool that is. Sage. Now, is that worth money? I'm just going to pick everything because I think everything can be used later on. Is that it all? I think we got it all. Okay, yeah, we got all the sage. Look at this. And this is our dad. What's the matter with you, Henry? Didn't you hear me calling you? Sometimes you need powers of persuasion to achieve your goal. When talking to people, you can often choose what kind of impression you want to make on them. Okay, um, I'm going to read this, and I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, guys, so they're giving us in the bottom left-hand corner Henry's stats and our father's stats and it says we don't really know the father's stats yet but I don't think we can impress the father with our strength or our royalty because he raised us and he knows us so I'm just going to do the very first option which sorry I had to go and deal with something well it's no great tragedy success anyway we have a lot of work to do today I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik and I need your help with what? I'm running out of charcoal Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? Not drunkard? <laughs> that'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his ass. Sure will be happy <laughs> to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sassel. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. <laughs> right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now. Work won't wait. Okay. So it says most of the quests can be completed in different ways. Eloquence will help you win friends. An inconspicuous person can totally avoid trouble, and if you'd rather not beat around the bush, violence can also be a solution. And I see up on our, at the top, we have our compass. 
And there's little um, shields, it looks like, that tell us where to go. So there's one right here. But first, some sage. Henry doesn't have any skills at all right now, so I just, I want to give him something. So here we go. Let's go find out what we can get at this castle. Isn't that neat? And you guys, look at how pretty this game is. It is just so beautiful. There's smoke coming from the chimneys. It's just really beautiful. Hello, guys. I think we have to talk to this guy, Janik. I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Okay. Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Saratik, and the Chamberlain has the crossguard and pommel. Father had them engraved in Sasau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? <sighs> Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want, <laughs> or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lord. That's funny. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Alright, so we've got the uh, cross sword. That's one job done let's go see the horses look how nice they are look at all the bugs hello horse hello horse Can we go in here? No. Look at the hay wagon. Hello. I can't talk to this guy? No. So, there's an F over here that we have to go to. Okay, I guess we'll be with you, Kunesh. Kunesh. What do you want? You owe us some money. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Hey! Get here, or I'll use the axe on you. Come on. Um, I don't think he'll think we're smart. We're stronger than him, but he seems like pretty low class. So maybe, maybe this one will work. I must have misheard you. It sounded like you just told me to clear off. But you wouldn't be stupid enough to think you can steal, not pay your debts, and then try to scare me. Would you? You son of a whore. Uh-oh. How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll Oh, you shoot. Then. Bye. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Left click slash. Right click stab. F kick. Tab lock onto the opponent. Q unlock. Left ship block. Oh my god, I'm never going to remember all of this. 
And you can use you can use attack directions using the mouse. Okay. And our stamina is yellow. Our health is red. What's purple? The opponent is purple. And icons are our wounds. So the purple is how much health our opponent has left. Okay. F for kicking. Uh. Hey! I wasn't ready! Uh. You bugger! is beating the crap out of us. Oh! Go to mother! She'll patch you up! Oh, no! You had it coming, you pup. And your old man can fuck off, too. Hey! Language! Okay. Well, we have to go to mom. Okay. New codec entry N. Wounds and healing. You can always see your health in the red bar on the lower edge of the screen. And since your level of health also determines your maximum level of stamina, it's important to keep a close eye on it. You can usually heal yourself with food and sleep and by relaxing in a bathhouse. This takes a while, so if you need to heal quickly, drink a healing potion. Serious wounds to parts of the body will seriously affect your abilities. You can't run with an injured leg. Wielding a sword isn't easy with a broken arm, etc. You can easily, easily see which parts of your body are wounded in the inventory around the figure of Henry. Bleeding is a specific type of injury. If you are bleeding, you must quickly bandage the wound. Otherwise, you will bleed to death, I assume. Soon bleed out and die. Mom! Mom, the bad man beat me up, and I need your help. Ma? Ah, Ma! I, I'm hurt. <laughs> I won't stop bleeding. Oh, my God! Oh, now, stop screaming <laughs> at me and show me that. There you are, good as new. You ought to learn to do that yourself. Thanks, Ma. Oh, I'm a mess! Okay, so our health is better now, and do we have any bandages in our inventory? No. How do we get bandages? Oh my god, I picked 59 dandelion and 25 sage. And the dandelion's only worth 0.4 cents, and the sage is worth What kind of flower is this? Nothing I can pick. Dad, we need money. Um, what did you do in Kuttenberg? What did you actually do in Kuttenberg? Oh, all sorts. You had to be able to put your hand to anything if you wanted to make a living. But I was never far from iron. I'd like to see Kuttenberg sometime. I'll take you there one day, never fear. It's a beautiful city. But in the end, you'll learn the best places here by the Sasso. We've kind nobles, fertile land, and plenty of everything. And do you know Sir Radzig well? We've known each other long enough. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? No. When I asked Kunish to pay, he fought me instead. That bastard. 
You don't look too bad, though. Did you get the better of him? No, I didn't. I'm fine, but he didn't give me the money. Ah, it doesn't matter. I'll sort him out this evening. I've no time for him now. I'll take care of him myself? Um, no. How about I need money? But without Kunish's money, I can't buy those other things you wanted. Here's coin for the charcoal and the ale. I'll get it back from that mongrel this evening. We got seven groschen. Okay. Thanks, Dad. Why can't I pick these flowers? They look really cool. Here's, okay, here's a trough. Is there water in this? Can we get water from the well? No. Horses! A beautiful black horse. And a little brown pony. Look how cute! Here's the charcoal burner. Greetings. Let's talk trade. Um, it costs five grosh point five groschen here, and I, there's more traders. So let's go see if we can get a better deal somewhere else. Oh wait, we have to go to this guy. Hey, Pip, do you want to learn something? Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. <laughs> Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say. Look how bloody he is! No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. I gotta close the, the window, you guys. Those cars are driving me crazy. Spoken like a man. I don't know why it it's happens, so busy today's right now. Your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? It's crazy how busy the traffic on my street is today. It's never like this. And it's only Monday, so I don't really get it. All right, um, yeah, let's go. Yes. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. Okay. I'm just going to follow him there. So I don't have to go looking for it. Look how beautiful these horses are. Hi. Hello. It's bugging me that I can't pick these. Can I pick this? Nettle! He's going up this way. Ooh, oh my goodness, look at all the flowers I can pick. And these are the expensive ones. The sage. Okay, I think we have all the sh the uh, sage now. So where's our buddy over here? Oh no, two more sage. <laughs> the guy who wants to teach us sword fighting must wonder why we're picking flowers. Hello, Count Combat Master Venyak. Can you teach me how to so, fight? Can we get started? Yeah, I picked all my flowers. We can. I'm Good. all. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other. You can show me everything I've taught you so far. Okay, sounds good to me. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. All right. A and D. All right, all right. Now 
not try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Now you're getting it. All right. Now you're getting it. Not bad. Fine. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Okay. Right click is for stab. Nice. Very good. Not bad. Again. Good, good. Let's try something else. Okay. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. Now you're getting it. Ooh, now I accidentally hit the cap lock. Sorry. Good. Once again. Oh, I'm done. All right. That's enough. I don't know about you, but I'm tired and thirsty. Where are you going? Train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. You have to work and work. Okay. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. All right, I'll do There's that. There's nothing better than experience. Whoa, sorry guys. I'm switching back to my laptop mouse from my, my secondary mouse. The, uh, my cheap dollar store wireless mouse works better for combat. But for everything else, I just like using my trackpad. Okay, I guess he's done talking. So we have to buy charcoal and ale. And I guess we could check for more f flowers around town to pick. Cause I, I would like to uh, buy bandages. So let's go this way. We didn't go this side of this fence. Nettle? Yes, I will take that nettle. Valerian. Ooh, what is the valerian worth? Chamomile. Oh, I like chamomile tea. More nettle. Nettle can be eaten if the leaves are boiled so that the stings are gone. The little barbs. Valerian is supposed to be good for your health. Um, I can't remember what for, though. And chamomile is a great tea. Now, these daisies, are they chamomile? And I just thought they were daisies? Yeah. Whoa. So let's see what these are worth. Chamomile is worth 0.4. Dandelion's 0.4. Nettle's only 0.1. Oh, nettle's hardly worth anything. Sage so far is the best, 1.2, and Valerian's only 0.3. And we have 163 sage, 62 dandelions, so that's awesome. So the Valerian is 0.3, the nettle's only 0.1, but it might be good for making stuff with, so it's worth taking it. Oh, Deutsch's wife. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we can wash ourselves. Awesome. You've washed yourself as much as you can in a trough. And now I'm moving in slow motion. Why? Is it because I was going up a hill? Something's happening. You can't be serious, Dutch. In insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. I had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Gutenberg. Why not? 
What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts, traitors. Now even the Pope God be with is you, opposed Henry. to your king. I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsches spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. What do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the right for pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. I'm but half Austrian. Winslesus is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... And forget about Gutenberg. For Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch. This is pointless. Deutsch means German. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? You too, I Matthew. You should give him a proper hiding. <sighs> Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge parliament You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather touch it, to be honest. But, doing some tears will do. What do you say, Henry? Um... But I was going to get ale for father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Ratzik's sword. Henry doesn't want to do it. All right, good, Still Henry. A few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? No. You know what? We just talked to his wife, and she was really nice to us. And I get the feeling Henry is not into this at all, so no. Not that I don't want to teach the Deutsch a lesson, but I really don't have time. Well, that's disappointing. Still, we can manage without you. Let's go, lads. Honestly, hell. How could you pass a good chance like this? Because I'm not 12 years old. We learned about Pope Boniface the first and the Western schism. Schism. N. Benedict born Petro de Luna was elevated anti-pope. Anti-pope? I had no idea there was an anti-pope. I've heard of an anti-Christ, an anti-pasta, but not an anti-pope. Okay, we have to go in here for the ale, but first let's go check out these cellars. Why am I moving so slowly? Did I accidentally hit cap lock? Garlic, onion, mushrooms, and asparagus. Come right on. No need to be shy. Am I over encumbered just with all this stuff? Yes, I am. I'm over encumbered. Kettles for water, baskets for goods, and torches for the. Okay, he's got clothing. He, I don't know if he would have. Let's talk to this guy. Greetings. Hi. Let's talk trade. So you sell, do you sell bandages? No, but you smell, you sell kits. Um, or you sell charcoal for cheaper. Okay, let's add that to the basket. Tan. Okay, and let's haggle. I'd like to discuss the price. Why not? 
Okay, this just tells me how to do it. So he wants four Groshen. Let's see if he'll take 3.9. Have you picked something? Three? Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. No. Baskets for goods and torches for the Oh, night. that's a decent Why price. Have you picked something? No, we talked to her. Lace, linen, Rooms silk, for your house. Right Rakes and hose for your field. What else do you need? Do you sell herbs? God be with you. Thank you. Let's talk trade. See you later. Oh good, this bandages. This guy sells bandages. Let's do five bandages. And let's do Hagel. Let's talk about the price. I. So he wants seventeen point five Groshen. Let's see if he'll take 17. Are we agreed? Well, a little more and we'll call No, nope, he still won't give us a deal. Let's sell 60 nettle. And... Let's sell 20 more dandelions, or 30, because we have to get our weight down. We're overweight. And let's sell some valerian. And now let's check our basket and make sure we haven't gone over what this guy can afford. He only has 56 wealth. Let's do 70 sage for now. Check the basket. Hagel. Let's talk about the price. Sure, why not? Here, with a little something on top for a good measure. Well now, thank you very much. All right, and now let's buy. Be more careful. Where are you going, dude? I want to buy the rest of your bandages. Everything for the house. Oh, what will it be today? He's busy. Okay, let's go get the ale. Get the best right here. Can I buy tools anywhere? I thought there was a store in town somewhere. Is this it? Yes, okay, great. Hi. Let's talk trade. Do you have any weapons? You have a torch. Do you have armor? You have a quilted brown jacket. Food. Other bandages. Okay, well, maybe I could sell this person some of our stuff. So You know what? Might as well just sell all of the dandelion. And a bunch of the sage. Let's sell 80 sage. Um, 
we'll get 54.4. Okay, and can I buy the bandages with with my stuff? Wait, I don't know that I want to buy the bandages. Let's just buy one bandage. I really wanted a weapon. She doesn't have weapons, but that guy might have weapons. So let's just close the deal. Or haggle, I guess. I don't I'd know. Like to discuss the price. Sure. Why I don't not? know how to haggle when we're buying and selling. Let's just make the offer. Very well. I agree. And how about you? Do you sell any weapons? What the hell are you doing? No, you're a shop guard. Alright, well that was really cool. How are we doing for Groshen? I have 136.8 Groshen and we have to go buy the ale. And there's all kinds of nettle here, but I'm not going to bother with it. Where's our girlfriend? Is she in here? Is she in here? There she is. Bianca! God save, my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? You do. Your beauty, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? Um, okay, the Deutsch is saying stupid things. The Deutsch is mouthing off again. Oh, don't talk to me about him. He's a good customer. But when it comes to politics, he's unbearable. The number of times I had to throw him and the others out so they wouldn't start brawling. Well, I'd say he's an exceptional form today. And a pitcher for father? I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> You can pay me back this evening. Oh, she's cute. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You paid You'll with point two groschen. <laughs> you too. Hmm. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Manya. I suppose. He's a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Hal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favorite, Savior Schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. We got five sh Savior Schnapps. This game model saves from time to time at important points in each quest and when you sleep. If you want to save the game yourself, you must drink the potion Savior Schnapps. However, this is an alcoholic drink. Okay. Um, so my inventory, I've got 58.2 out of 74, so we're not overburdened anymore, because I sold all that stuff. How's my health doing? Health is at 100, energy is at 100, nourishment is at 68. Speech is at 2, Vitality is at 2, so we did all that and we went up in speech. Our Charisma is at 6, 
Our speed is only 16. And I'm not sure how you level up. I think we just have to do stuff. We don't have any buffs. Our herbalism has gone up by quite a bit. It's Look, it, it's at number 9 now. We got one skill in herbalism. So all that work was worth it. The temptation to pick all the sage and nettle is high. Horses! Hello! Those horses are so beautiful. Hey, Pa. I'm going to go have something to eat, and then I'll be back with your ale. Okay, Dad? The music in this game is just adorable. Hi, Mom. Hmm. Sorry, Mom. Can I say anything new to you? Here you are, Henry. Father's been asking for you. I just hope you've done everything he told you to. Yes, I have. You're taken care of, Mother. I'll go straight to him. But first, I want a nice bite of whatever's in this pot. My nourishment is now at 92. My vitality is at 4. I want to pick all those flowers, but we don't need to. Hi, Dad. We got everything you asked for. Yeah, about time. Have you got everything I wanted? Yes, I do. I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master in Sasal did for us. <laughs> Look at that lad. That's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Dan Divino. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. All right. I really like Henry's father and mother. They're so cool. By the way, I heard some gossip about what happened to Deutsch. I expect you know something about it. Yeah, my friends are idiots. Maybe. Maybe. Someone threw dung at Deutsch's freshly lime-washed house, maybe. And maybe those cronies of yours had something to do with it. That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Oh, got what he deserved, did he? Look, I don't know if you're mixed up in this or if it's just those friends of yours. It's all the same to me. But I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody. Least of all the King. Do you understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. Well, so you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of the king? Does that boy ever listen to a word I say? So Deutsch spouts me. So what? You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth, not your fists. Listen to your father, Henry. 
furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do it. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now I'll file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I have my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university, and all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. Looking good. Oh, it's magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. <laughs> Hello. We have to get nails for Teresa. Hey, Ma. Oh, look, there was a bandage in here I could have taken. I'll get that later. Am I still hungry? Hey, Teresa, I've got your nails. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. What are you loitering so around how's here Bianca? For? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering, will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. Sorry, I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Bye, Teresa. <laughs> Look at these Quite two. Well, now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. We did a fine job. 
I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Where'd he come from? Those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a Let commoner? try it. Henry looks more like this dude than he does this one. Maybe he takes after his mother more. You still have a lot to learn. They have the same hair color. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. And they have the Learning same shape face. Learning will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows? what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Sven? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. He certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, Sir Isfah. Have a safe journey to Sassan. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword. And then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Who said you are, one day? But first I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet! You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> Then you've no need to learn swordplay. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? You can hear the fire crackling in the background. This is bad news. Listen to me, Al. Listen carefully. Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the truck. Go to the castle. Hurry! And what about you? Follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Radzik. If anything happens, we'll take care of him. He owes me. Oh, this is terrible.
the gates! Move! Hurry Come up, on, Henry! Run! Move it, people! Come on! Come on! Oh, Henry! Thank God! Get inside quick! We have to shut the Keep gates! Keep running, people! Come on! Mind this for me! Are you mad? You can't go back! Get through the gates! Gosh, his parents are in the middle of it. Oh no! Run, Henry, go get your parents. Henry's in shock. Oh no. I really like them too. Oh my God. Poor Henry. Run, Henry, run! Find a horse! Try to tell them! Tell them what's coming! Warn them! Run by the moats! There's a path down there! Jump down from the wall and flee! Oh my god! Well, he looks really worried. Quest completed. Unexpected visit. Well, guys, that was a really exciting beginning to this game. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. If so, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Bye for now. See you next time. Take care.